this is video number 535. Time to say goodbye, part 3. I have prayed for kings and queens to align with Vetsiana. Maybe, just maybe, the spring cleaning is just part of the step. One of our kings and queen entourage to join Vetsiana. Editors note, I have a constant love affair with a song from Meatloaf. I will do anything for love. While I was typing, my radio was playing softly in the background and the song came up. As if God was answering my time to say goodbye prayer. You know, God is in the soft wind, not in the earthquake or the thunder. And I remember my other prayer based on the lyrics from I will do anything from, for love. My prayer for 2017 was, will you colorize my life? And God truly did colorize my life that year. And it is growing from glory to glory. So I know this is my process of making space in my life for the kings and queens in my life. Another editor's note, my dear friend gave me such solid advice on a long WhatsApp voice, voice note. She sent me this morning. I asked her advice yesterday on the topic of saying goodbye to team members while you are in a ministry. She gave me such solid advice while listening to her voice note. It felt like my soul was receiving a deep tissue soul massage. This she reprimanded me of not being too sensitive for goodbyes. So I'm also giving this now to God. Please let him rebrand goodbyes to me so that I don't feel the sting anymore. I heard a story yesterday about a lady, a granny, with my oral hygiene work that the granddaughter was not keen on brushing her teeth. So she bought the little girl a princess electric toothbrush. Now the little one loves brushing her teeth. Just like this granny rebranded brushing teeth. I also now want God to rebrand the time to say goodbye to the people in my life. May He remove the sting and may He give me a stronger heart, a renewed heart, just like our cell phones get a cover on, so that when they fall they don't break. I want the same with my heart too, a cover. My dear friend also gave me solid advice, to do advice. She told me about deep breathing and time to say goodbye coffees. So this too is something that I'd like to implement. I immediately sent an invite to our team pizza evening tonight to our counsellor. So here's to hoping that she will attend. Side note, I did invest a lot of time last year into praise for abundance. May this uh, it, this too, maybe this is too another answer to a prayer, an abundance of goodbye, making it so intense currently that I need to hit pause and pray about it. The next bullet point my friend gave me was, because I had a fear that all the, these time to say goodbye incidents will result in me giving less of myself, this will be uh, uh, this will cause me to become a little bit more reserved. But then she told me another story. She told me that Jesus knew that Judas will reject him and also walk out of his life in a terrible manner. Luckily, we do not know beforehand who will reject us, who will turn against us. But this is my prayer. Just as Jesus could invest into everyone around him, I also want that copy and paste love in my heart towards everybody around me. Lastly, she said while giggling a little bit, as if she'd know so much more about how I'm feeling currently. There is the reason, she said Nadia, why there are so many books written about resilience in leadership. Invest in yourself and read books like that. It almost felt as through this heartache, this life lesson, as, I'm, as if I'm part of a small little gang now. As if this obstacle have opened up the door to a whole new level of being a human being. It is such a positive feeling. May I remember, treasure and embrace this feeling. Maybe this is the first appetizer of being resilient. My new favorite word. The capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. Toughness. The next video will follow shortly.